Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel's Christmas special. So I've been thinking for the last few weeks about what I wanted to do for the for the Christmas special really. And I came up with a few ideas and I toyed with them and then I came across this ROM hack which is Pokemon Christmas Joko, Johto Legacy sorry, and I thought that sounded perfect. So while we set this up, I just want to give a quick shout out to Matteo, who was the guy who, or girl, who developed the hack. Um, and I'm going to put the download link down in the description for you if you wanted to give it a try after watching this video. So it's a hack of Pokemon Gold, if you haven't seen that already from the graphics. I don't know too much about it because I haven't tested it, I just wanted to play this on a first run through. Uh, but from what I've read, it's set about six months after the original games, so after the events of Gold and Silver. Uh, and obviously it's set around the Christmas period. Apparently the developers made a few changes, uh, so there's a few new gameplay mechanics, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they are. So just for simplicity, I think I'm going to call myself Gold. Um, I'm not sure if Silver's still going to be in this, because obviously this is set after the original game, so we may have a new rival, so we'll have to see how that works out. Okay, so here's our room. It's slightly updated graphics actually from Gold. But yeah, let's see, let's see what this game's got for us. Okay, so we've already got our poker gear. So I'm playing this on Christmas Eve, which is obviously a Saturday. So I'm going to set this to Saturday. So like I say, it is Christmas Eve today. And I hope I'm going to upload this tonight. So if you're watching it uh, tonight, I hope you're looking forward to Christmas. And if you're watching it, Christmas Day, I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas. So I've just sent a tweet out if you wanted to timestamp when I'm actually recording this, follow me on Twitter, which is at RetroGameHacks, and you'll be able to see the exact time I am recording this. So we'll just listen to the radio, a little bit of a waste, but we're going to head downstairs, we grab the potion, as we always do, and let's see what mum has to say. Yeah, we already, we already grabbed the potion, okay. So, what are your guys' plans for Christmas? Uh, I'm just recording this. Okay, so we've got a new, looks like our rival's the female character. So I was, I was going to call her Silver, but I can't really do that because that's obviously the rival in Gold and Silver. So I think I'm going to call her Crystal, because that's obviously the third game in the series. It's Gold, Silver and Crystal. So we're going to call her Crystal and she is going to be our rival. I wonder if she'll play a similar role to the role Silver played in the original games, or if she's going to do something a little bit different. Only one way to find out of course and that is to play through the game and we have grandparents. Okay. Merry Christmas Grandma yourself. Tom Baker. Okay I'm assuming the developer of this is a Brit then if they're making Doctor Who references. It's a glitch there a little bit but that's cool. Okay so like I say I'm just going to record this now this morning and then I am going to be driving up to my parents house this evening. I'm probably going to leave pretty much as soon as this is uploaded. I'm going to be driving down to my mum's for, for Christmas Day, or tonight and then Christmas Day tomorrow, uh, to spend it with the family, which I'm very looking forward to. So what are your guys' plans for Christmas? Are you spending it with family? Friends? Maybe maybe you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, either way, whatever your plans are, I hope you have a wonderful festive period and you really enjoy yourself. So we're going to head this way just to see doesn't seem to be stopping me. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. I was wondering if they'd built that in to stop us going. Uh, there's no silver to the left like in the original game, so they have obviously changed the map up a little bit. But I think we should just go and grab our first Pokemon. And I want to see what's in that Pokeball on the left of the screen, the blue one. Okay, so that that's crystals. Do we reckon we can grab it? Okay, no, it, obviously not. Um, I'm assuming that the Pokemon we can pick from are the same as in the original games. Cyndaquil. Okay, so it looks like we've got the same the same choices, which is obviously Cyndaquil, which is the fire type, Totodile, water type, and Chikorita, the grass type. Now, I've used all three, and all three are pretty good Pokemon, to be honest, but I think for this run, I'm going to be using Cyndaquil, uh, just because I like, I like Cyndaquil. I think it's got a good design type. Potion is really cool. And the fire types are usually the best starter. So 
yeah, do I? I uh, didn't really want to nickname it. I'm just in habit from the uh, the monologue run that I'm running on Pokemon Red. That's my current series. If you're not watching, I will put a link to the latest episodes uh, in the top right. If you want to go and watch that, otherwise, feel free to just continue watching this. Continue watching this Christmas pack of Pokemon Gold. And yeah, I think I'm really looking forward to see what they've done with this because there's. From what I've read online, there are a few changes. There's a couple of new mechanics. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they've changed, really. And yeah, I'm wondering if they've changed the wild encounters. Oh, we've got Pokeballs already. Ah, it's Nick, yeah, that's pretty, pretty useless, really. But um, I was kind of hoping he was going to give us Pokeballs. But yeah, let's. I'm going to head straight out onto the route um, just to see if what we can find there is the same as what we can find in the normal games. This is Route 29. Now, I'm interested to see if they have added new Pokemon, because reading the reading the notes sorry, for the hat, it sounds like they've added some new Pokemon. So, let's see what we get. First up is a Pidgey. Not the most exciting first encounter, but um, sorry. So from the notes, it sounds like they've added a couple of Gen 3 Pokemon in which I'm interested to see, so hopefully we'll encounter a few of them. Hopefully we'll encounter something interesting, something cool that we can catch. Otherwise, yeah, we're just going to play through. Uh, there's no particular aim to this video. The idea, I'm just going to play it for maybe 25-30 minutes, something around that, just get a feel of the game, and just show you guys something a little bit different. Uh, we're already holding a battery, okay, that's cool. Yeah, so I've been, like I said, been my main series at the moment is the Monolock Challenge, which is a Monotype and a Nuzlocke combined on Pokemon Red. We are, I believe, seven episodes into that series now. Uh, we're doing quite well, so if you did want to follow along, I highly recommend checking that out. So I just wanted to try something a little bit different for the Christmas special, something Christmas themed, something, something for you guys just to see, which maybe you haven't played before. Okay, so it's a goon. Yeah, maybe you haven't played this particular hat before, um, whereas I'm sure most of us by now have probably played Pokemon Red who are going to be watching my videos, most people will have played Pokemon Red, it's, it's a very old game now, so a lot of people, one of the best selling games, the Red and Blue combined is the fourth or fifth best selling games of all time. The Zigzagoons have got, Wild well, Pokemon have got Berry, really? Okay, that's, that's weird. But we're just going to continue along. Cool. Cool story, bro. So we're just going to continue along. I just want to get through a good chunk of the game just to see really what what there is on offer. Another Zigzagoon. We've got a very attached to him against. So can we, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can knock him out. So I do. I do want to raise uh, Retro Quill here. Very clever name, I know. I do want to raise him up and get him to a decent level, so no, well I don't know, I'm assuming that we're still going to have the, the rival battles early on, and it's not too far to the first gym, so we may even get that in today. So we'll, <clears throat> excuse me, so we'll, we'll continue on, I'm assuming, I am assuming that we're still going to be going up to Mr. Pokemon's house, I mean that's the way I'm headed, and I haven't, I'd assume it tell, I'm assuming that Mateo would tell you if he had some different plans than following the normal the normal route. So we're going to assume that's the right way. If not, we'll work it out when we get there, but for now, that's, we're just going to continue under that assumption. So this should take out the zigs again, and he goes down, and hopefully that should get us up to level 6. There we go. Retrical grows to level 6, stat boosts, all that good stuff, and we learn smoke screen. So that's all good. Okay, so we're going to continue on here and make our way into Cherry Grove City. Profe that's Professor Oak, right? Okay, normally you don't see in Pokemon Gold, you normally don't see Professor Oak until you make it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house, which is where you receive the Pokedex. So this is this is definitely a different, definitely a change from the original games. So maybe that means we don't go to Mr. Pokemon's house. Who knows? Who knows? Um, okay, so definitely a change there, but I'm, I still think I'm going to continue that way. 
because if because that that's the way to uh, Faulkner's uh, to Faulkner's gym anyway, which would be where we're going. So I'm just gonna check if we can buy Popol Jam. I'm not sure if they will be selling them, but okay, cool. So they are selling they are selling Popol. So I'm gonna buy seven. Sure. So we're gonna buy some Popols just in case we do find something a little bit different or a little bit special in in the in the wild grass. So just because I know I missed a route here, uh, I can't remember what the route number is, but it goes up towards. Uh, it's where you can catch you can catch stampies in the original gold and silver. So it's got a couple of really interesting Pokemon there. So I'm just going to have a quick look up there and see if we can find something interesting there. So if we can find a Thampy, I know they're quite rare, but if we could find a Thampy, I'd definitely be interested in grabbing one and and uh, catching one. Uh, and you, you, you're evolving it into a Donphan because they're they're pretty cool. I like I like Donphan as a Pokemon. It's pretty powerful. It's uh, it's a pretty good Pokemon. So Retro Quill will chuck the Oron Berry on Retro Quill just because that's kind of useful. So yeah, that that's our Retro Quill. So we're gonna head over. I can't remember the route number for the life of me. So this route through the building here. And I remember spending quite a lot of time on this route looking for looking for families when I was a kid. Because they are rare, but they are I always I always liked Don Fan as a kid. I don't know if it was because Ash had one in the anime or it just because it looked like an elephant. I like elephants. But yeah, it was always something I was interested in. Worst case we'll do a little bit of training up here. We get retro pull up to level seven. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can find ourselves a fan and catch ourselves a Pokemon. I'm not going to spend too long here. I'll spend a little. I'll have like a few, maybe a minute or so, looking a couple minutes looking for a Pokemon. But I do want to see as much of this game as possible, so I don't want to spend too long. But at the same time, if we find fan we would be very, very, very happy with that. Okay, so another Spearow. Uh, not feeling that confident, having seen two Spearows now. But we'll we'll have a couple more goes. We'll have a couple more goes and see what we can find. So hopefully we'll find something a little bit more interesting than the Spiro next. Okay, so what have we got here? Geodude? Geodude's a good Pokemon. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to bother catching one. I don't think I'm going to battle it because obviously we're going to get a tackle, which is no good against rock Pokemon. I might have a look at one more. We'll have a look at one more Pokemon and I think we will we'll move on. Another Spearow. Okay, yeah, I, I see how this is going. I've, I've got a feeling that it's only available, Thampage were only available at one time, so maybe at night time. I, I really can't remember, but yeah, I think we're going to give up for now. We'll move on and just make our way up towards Mr. Pokemon and try and advance the plot of the game a little bit. I think that's the best thing to do. I mean, we're already, what, 12, 12 or 13 minutes into the video, so. I do want to. I do want to get a move on. I do want to see as much of this game as possible today. Show you what this hack's really got to offer, and just see what the hack's got to offer. I've not played it before. This is my first go. My first go at it, which works a little bit, um, a, little, a little unorganized. But you know, we're just exploring. We're seeing. We're seeing exactly what it what it's like. We're having a first look. And yeah, I'm, I I want to get to places where we do see some of the changes that they've made, some of the additions, new mechanics that the game comes with because I want to see um, I want to see what they are. I want to experience that. That's sort of the idea of using this hack as our Christmas special. So yeah, what are my plans for Christmas? So like I said, I'm going to be driving down to my parents' house as soon as I've finished uploading this video. It's not too bad a drive for me, but Christmas is all about family time. So, obviously, I'm going to my parents' house. My sister's going to be there. My nephew's going to be there. We're going to see our cousins. Uh, my grandparents are coming down. So, the whole family really is going to be there for these couple of days Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Uh, we're going to share food, we're going to share drink, and we're going to share presents. It's, it is one of my favourite times of the year, Christmas. I really enjoy it because we do get to spend so much time. With our, with our family, which 
really is what it's all about for me. So I hope you all have you'll all have your own traditions, you'll all have your plans, and I hope they go very well. I hope you've all been good. I hope you've all been very good this year, and that Santa brings you everything that you asked for, and you get to spend a lot of time with the people you want to spend the time with, and to just have a wonderful time of year. And for those of you who are maybe have school holidays or you have a bit of time off work for the festive periods, I hope you enjoy that time off. I hope you use it wisely. And I hope you are enjoying the video so far. I hope you're in, as interested in me and seeing what this game has to offer. So I'm not too interested in any of the Pokemon we've found so far, so we're going to head back into Cherry Grove City. Uh, okay, so we'll get the map from Guide Gen. Guide Gent, sorry. Yeah, there's a couple of there's a couple of um, animation glitches, but that's all I've really noticed so far. So when you talk to someone, there's a little flash as it loads the animation, but that's really all I've seen so far. It's it's running okay. It's running okay because some hacks run a little bit slow. I don't know how this will hold up when I render the video, but it certainly in the gameplay, it's running. It's running pretty well. It's running pretty well. So another Pidgey here. Which pretty well help. We'll just take it down with with Retro Girl here, and yeah, we'll, we'll. I'm still I'm still hoping to see some of these Gen 3 Pokemon that apparently have been added to the game, or at least something a little bit more interesting. And I think that was Ice on the right there. That's definitely that's quite a cool. I'm not sure if it's just a cosmetic cosmetic feature, sorry, but certainly it's it's cool that they've added that kind of thing. Because I'm pretty sure that was just a pond. I'm pretty sure that was just a pond in the original, so we got a cleanse tag there, which is kind of useful if we want to stop the wild battles, but that's not really what we're looking for here. So, apricorn tree here, or berry tree, sorry, so we get ourselves an orin berry, which seems to be quite useful as a hold item early in the game. But I'm not sure if those ponds are just cosmetic, or if you can actually interact with them. There are those little holes, so I'm sort of feeling we might be able to slide across them. And once we have dealt with this Pidgey, we'll run away. Yeah, we're going to run. Got away safely. I'm going to see if we can actually... Oh, okay, that's cool. So you can slide across. I wonder if you can fall down those holes. And secret item. Of course there's a secret item there. Okay, we've got ourselves a potion. That's cool. Can we fall down? Oh, no, they're just there to stop your momentum. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, it'd be cool if they added something that you could do... A Ralphs, okay. So from what he's just said, it sounds like you could get... I know he says he wishes you could, but that would suggest, in my eyes, the only reason you'd have that would be if they can get a Ralphs in the grass. And if we find a Ralphs, I will definitely be catching ourselves a Ralphs. Zigzagoon, that's not a Ralphs, that's not what we're looking for. Because that's, that's the thing with games, isn't it? As soon as you find an NPC who says, oh, I can't do this, you know that somewhere in the immediate area you're going to be able to do that thing that he wants to do. That's just how video games work, that's that's kind of a trope. But Okay cool, we've got a small gift, so we have come to the right place. I was a little bit worried that we were going the wrong way, but it seems that the, the at least early game, the route you go is pretty much the same, and we do have to come to Mr. Pokemon to get the small gift. I'm pretty sure that was a Pokemon egg in the original games in Gold and Silver. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Because then you got the egg, and that was Togepi. That hatched into a Togepi, and that was the first egg. That was the first egg we saw in the entire series. Because obviously, in Gen One, eggs weren't a mechanic in the game. There was no breeding. Uh, there were no Pokémon eggs. So everyone's very first egg in Pokémon Gold would hatch into a Togepi, which is why they put it in the anime. Uh, they gave Misty the Togepi at the end of the first. Is it the first series? No, it'd be the end of the second series, right? I don't know, I have to look that up. I think I think it was the end of the second series. It was certainly during the original Kanto run. It was right at the end of that she got her Togepi as sort of a teaser for these games. So yeah, it was kind of cool that everyone's first egg was guaranteed to be a Togepi, and then you could go off and you could do your breeding and you could try you could try different Pokemon and see see the ones you've got because the baby Pokemon were brand new to Pokemon Gold so and the internet wasn't as huge back then. I mean I know it was there but it wasn't 
as ubiquitous in ubiquitous as it is now. It wasn't as widespread as it is now. So, so, so yeah, there was a little bit of experimentation, at least when I was playing it, to see what you could get. And the baby Pokemon were pretty cool, you know? They were new, and you hadn't seen them before, and it was a brand new mechanic, which is always interesting. So, yeah, it was good memories. Good memories from those eggs. But, yeah, I'm not sure if this small gift will turn out to be an egg as well, or if it's just something to just a fetch quest, a random fetch quest, like you have in Pokemon Red for Professor Road, where you pick up Oak's package from the Pokemon Mart in Bridge City and then run it back and it never plays a role in the game again. Who knows? We, we will. Well, I'm probably not going to have time to find out today, but potentially if I continue playing this to completion, we could. I could certainly. I would probably find out by the end. Probably work it out if we play the whole game, but yeah. So a couple of changes already that we've seen. The frozen makes mostly cosmetic, but a little bit of a little bit of interaction possible. And we also saw we saw both Professor Oak early. And I've just realised normally there's a rival battle. There's normally a rival battle there when you leave Professor so Mr. Pokemon's house and make your way back to New Bark Town. Silver stops you as you try to leave Cherry Grove City. And I didn't realise that we've just sort of made it all the way back without that rival battle. So perhaps the rival's not going to play as big a part in this game as they did in the original games because that's normally the first rival battle. Oh, it's a book. That's a, that was a big overreaction to a book. I've got to be honest, that was... I've never seen someone react quite like that to a book. The big jump backwards and the wow. I feel that that was over the top. Okay, so we might see... So he, he just said... I'm skipping through this quite quickly, but... Professor Elm just said we might see Crystal on our way to the first gem, so... I'm guessing that's when they're gonna uh, when Mateo's added the rival battle is on the way to Volkman's gym. So and then we get our vocals. I probably didn't I didn't need to buy those vocals that I bought, but oh well we have we have many vocals now, so if we did find that route that we were looking for earlier, we would be very well stocked on vocals to try and catch him with. So we found a zigzagoon. I'm not really interested in catching a zigzagoon, so I'm just gonna knock this out for the experience. We're already level eight, so we're probably we're probably already a pretty good level for that first rival battle, but I just want to get ourselves up a little bit more just to make sure we are ready. I don't want to lose, so we're just going to keep knocking out the wild guys we meet. And if we find something cool, I'm hoping to find something cool. If we find something that I think is cool, we will add it to the team. We'll we'll train them up as well. So yeah, I mean this this game seems slightly different to other rom hacks I've played in that. It's more a continuation, a uh, sequel almost, to the original games. So like I said, it's set six months after the events of the original games, and this seems to be the same sort of world, so it's the same canon, and it's more uh, events that happened after that. Whereas normally in a ROM hack, they just completely overhaul the world, and completely revamp what's going on so what happens in the original games doesn't necessarily fit into the new world they create which you know in some cases is really cool there are some really good ROM hacks which are complete overhauls but in a way I quite like that in this the original games are still part of the same world so it's, it's it feels more like a third game to Golden Silver I know there was obviously Crystal but maybe more of a sequel to those games than a completely different game which a lot of ROM hacks feel like they're completely different games so in that way it's kind of cool he really gave us nothing that guy I like talking to random NPCs and just seeing what they do in these kind of hacks because you do get some of them who come out with some very random lines but this one seems quite a serious game so far because you do get the zany ROM hacks which I was worried this would be very zany and very off the wall and maybe not suitable for the kind of special I wanted to do but so far it seems very very sensible game so I'm just going to check another all and berry on retrofill just in case we run into crystal at any point just to save having to use a potion in the battle and wasting the turn basically so I think this guy is I think this is the Joey with his rat's heart 
Yes, he is in the top percentage of rat stars. That is this guy, this guy. So, youngster Joey here has the top percentage rasta. He has the best rasta. And anyone who takes Joey's number on their phone, he will call you all the time. He's, he must, he call, I swear he calls more than the other guys who get the phone number in this game. And he just lets you know how good his rasta is. And how he swears it's in the top percentage of rasta. It's such a good line. It is one of the best lines in all of the Pokemon games. And he's one of one of my favourite NPCs, and he's one of the internet's favourite NPCs. I, if you go on any of the forums, everyone knows Youngster Joey. Everyone quotes Youngster Joey. He's he is he is famous in these games. He's he's good. I mean, his his rat doesn't actually look good, as as you just saw. We beat him fairly easily. Oh, we must have been like one XP away from going to level nine there. That's a bit annoying. Okay, so we've we've got a couple of training battles here, and there's a new grass. Up on the left. <laughs> Rasta's our pickup line. Joey, have you been trying it on? Who uses a Rasta's our pickup line other than Joey? So I think I think Joey's been trying it on with Chaker here. And by the sounds of it, he's not getting very far. But you know, you got you got to appreciate the effort. Get in there, Joey. That okay, that was quite funny, that made me laugh. I like that. You do get some funny lines in these ROM hats. Um, don't, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a line in the original game. I mean, I might have missed it when I was a kid, but I played Gold Back through certainly in the last three or four years, and I didn't pick up on it then, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a new line. If I'm wrong, by all means, let me know, but yeah, that, that did tickle me a little bit. So, this Meowth, I think it's just Growl so far, I mean, it must know Scratch or something, but one more tackle, I think. Well, maybe not that growl. Hopefully one more tackle will take out the Meow. And that will get us up to level 9, which is a good level to be at. So, yeah, that's level 9. And I'm not sure where where this rival battle will take place. I am expecting one before Faulkner's Gym. And I know, I think there's one more trainer we're going to have to beat up the top here. Yeah, there we go. He's... And there may even be actually no, there may be two because I think there's this guy. So I remember there's one up near Dark Cave who you have to fight for sure. I don't I don't want to have to go back and heal. So I think we've got a few potions, so I think we'll be okay. And we have got that Warren Berry, of course. That's that's why it's useful in battle. It does save you wasting a turn and using a potion, but I am kind of disappointed we haven't seen more interesting Pokemon in the wild. So we used our Warren Berry. That last battle, so I'm just gonna replace it. But I was I was kind of hoping the yeah, untrain. Okay, so I think there's two more battles we'll have to do before we get to to um is it Violet City? Is that right? I can't remember what the, the town's called with the gym in it. I think it's Violet City, but before, before the gym, I think we've got two more trainer battles and potentially a rival battle. I'm just guessing from what Professor Elm said, that would make sense. And it's usually before, they usually do it just before you get to the, the houses that split out the routes. They're normally just before those where you get the, the rival battles. And I think there's one of those coming up, so I'm guessing it will be there. But we're just going to continue on. We only know tackle at the minute, so we're just going to continue tackling. I mean, Retro Core is doing a good job here. He's, he's a, Cyndacore is a good Pokemon. Like all of the start, I said it. All of the starters in Gold and Silver are pretty good Pokemon. They're, I've used them all over the years, and they're all pretty good Pokemon. They all evolve into pretty good Pokemon. So it's not like I feel in third gen the starters weren't as good. Certainly in the first two gens, the starters are pretty much all very good. I mean Bulbasaur was a little bit behind the other two in the first game, but they're all pretty good Pokemon. And Cyndacore's just going to level 10. He's doing... he's looking pretty good to be honest, so I'm gonna chuck another one very just because it's easier than using potions in battle. So we're just gonna keep that just in case Crystal does pop up. That's where we came from, most of Pokemon's house is down there, so I think we got one more guy up here somewhere. If I remember, remember rightly, of course. 
So we just uh, run from this pitchy. And I think. Let's see what we can find in this grass. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully, we'll find something good. Another pitchy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the wild Pokemon haven't been as good as I was hoping they'd be. I was, I was kind of hoping that they'd have changed it up a little bit, but it does seem to be very similar, very similar to the original games. Okay, so Dark Cave. Dark Cave, I'm pretty sure, is mostly Geodudes in the original game. I think you can get Dunsparce in there. I think that's how you pronounce it. Is it Dunsparce or Dunsparce? Um, but there's that Pokeball up there, so I think I'm going to go and grab that, I'm gonna grab the po that's a potion, I'm pretty sure that's a potion, so I'm gonna go and grab that and we'll see what we find on the way, essentially. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's mostly Geodudes we'll find. And Geodudes are quite good. Like at this stage in the game they are useful because you've got Fulky coming up in the next town and he obviously has flying type Pokemon. So having something like a Geodude who can learn Rock for a pretty early level I think from this game might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure you can learn Rock for at a fairly early level, so you can get a super effective Pokemon for Volkman's Gym. And you know, Golem's a pretty good Pokemon overall, so you could, we could do worse than Geodude, I'm just not particularly interested in catching one for this run, so I was kind of hoping to catch something a little bit, a little bit more exotic, but who knows, who knows, we might come back. And we've already done half an hour, so we're not going to come back. So what what we'll do, I will either, if we have a battle with our rival, which I'm expecting, we will do that battle and we'll call it there. Otherwise, I'll head to Vault City and I'll, I'll do the gym challenge with, do the first gym with Volkman. So, because I don't want to keep you guys too long. I don't want this to turn into like an hour long video. I was thinking about half an hour. As we've got some more ice. It's a new mechanic. It's It's... You've just got to go on it when you see it, haven't you? So I didn't, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to take this too long. Half an hour was sort of what I was thinking. So if we get our battle now, which I'm expecting, I'm expecting it if we just go through this route and turn left. And I think that's what I was expecting. That's where I'm expecting the battle. It is like this, so good. I got that right. I was, I was worried I got that wrong. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so we've got Crystal here. We will have this battle. This is our first rival battle of the game. So hopefully we can win this battle. We've only got Retro Quill. I'm sure she's going to have at least two, possibly three Pokemon. We are a little way in. Well, she's still only got one. Okay, so she's still and she's got a Marrow. Oh, she had the she had the blue ball, didn't she? Okay. Oh, she so she doesn't take. So presumably she always has a Marrow. But she's the girl of the Marrow in the other game. I get it now. Okay, cool. So we'll we'll beat this Marrow. I mean, it's only level six, so we should beat it. And we will call it after that, I think. So, yeah, it's been. It looks a pretty solid hack. It's not a big. They've not overhauled the whole game. Like I said, it's more of a continuation onto the Gold and Silver games, uh, the original games. So, it's not a complete overhaul, but it looks pretty well put together. It looks pretty well put together. They've added a couple of things. They've added the the ice and just reading through now the notes on it, it sounds like there are a couple other new mechanics later in the game. So we've defeat we've defeat Crystal there. But yeah it looks a really well put together hat. So I'll call it here guys. Thank you for watching the Christmas special. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a and a lovely new year. If you wanted to see more of this game, let me know. I'd be happy to do a full playthrough. Otherwise this is a one off so I hope you enjoyed the special. And Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.